Okay, guys, uh, new awnings up. The new Warrior Scholar Martial Art Academy is officially open for our students. So let's go on inside. So we have our new beautiful awning and it is awesome. We have our garden over here. We have a lot of garbage we've got to throw out. Now there's signage right here. I'm gonna turn this around now. Okay, so there's signage explaining the rules of, uh, you know, under the pandemic uh, in New York State. This is the new hallway, all new photos. Beautiful rules and our operation allowance from New York State. Uh, so if you or any member of your family have signs of being sick or not feeling well, go home, reschedule, or train online. It's also in Spanish. If you travel out of New York in the past two weeks or have family members that have, please go home, quarantine until your two weeks are up. If you have no symptom, until you have no symptoms of feeling ill or cleared. If you made it this far, awesome. To not spread the virus, everyone must be a ninja and wear a mask and then get their temperature checked by our staff. At the top of the stairs, please remove your shoes and socks, place them on a shoe rack and sanitize your hands. Socially distance and please follow the markers in the training area and follow the instructions. Stay six feet away from others. So. Uh, this is the new hallway, the new pictures, awesomeness, and everything, everything's been, you know, painted in here and done over. Uh, six foot distance, new pictures, okay, pictures of our students, okay. Our martial arts family holds its strength in the diversity of its members. Racism has no place here. We stand together, okay, and we have testimonials from our different students. Okay, this is where you will sit and take off your shoes. You will take off your shoes. If you have socks, put the socks in your shoes, put them on the shoe rack, then take a bin. Put your wallet and keys in the bin. You'll carry this bin inside the studio with you. Okay, you will then take the bin. I'm not taking because I don't have anything. Sanitize your hands, okay? And then you're gonna go through this door here with no shoes on, okay? And get your temperature checked. So hands are sanitized. Doorknobs should be good because your hands are sanitized. This is a new waiting area. Sofas, no more benches, okay? New t-shirt, check this out, guys. You can get this on Teespring. We won't actually be selling this in the shop. We'll be selling regular t-shirts, but these are special ones you can get on Teespring that uh, are just awesome. New uniforms, okay? Even our guy over there is wearing a mask. Hand gear, new hand gear, I love this new hand gear. Uh, it's Tonsado, beautiful. Our jackets, our bags, swag. This is our uh, TV announcement board, okay? And so now you take your shoes off, you have your bin, you walk in, barefoot, Get your temperature checked. There's a second hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer station in here. This is no touch. You just put your hand underneath it, it'll drop hand sanitizer into your hands. You will come onto the floor. And after you get your temperature checked and we log you in for attendance, you will then be asked to go to a box. There are a total of eight boxes, socially distanced six feet apart. And you'll be given that box. That's your box for the class. You'll stay in that box and that will be your training spot. Any equipment you use will be used just by you for that entire class and then will be disinfected after the class. Then after the class, you will walk back out, uh, take your bin. So when you came in, you put your bin here, right? And other people have their bins here. You'll take your bin, bring it back outside uh, or take your uh, uh, stuff out of your bin. You can leave the bin here because we're gonna disinfect them after. And then uh, put your shoes on, go home, have fun, okay? So a little tour of the studio. So uh, new mats, these are matted, it's a matted floor here. Where's my foot hiding at? Matted floor, TVs instead of flags. The flags will be on the TVs as you can see. So we did not get rid of the flags. I'm a traditionalist. So we have a new way of presenting the flags that uh, will help keep everything clean and also give us a lot of interaction. There's our studio logo. And this will also allow us to have the uh, student responsibilities. As you can see, the 10 articles of faith. 
uh, self-defense situations where you know someone's attacked and it's on video, we can break that video down and it's discuss it. This painting, this mural that goes all the way around the studio, it's called The Great Wave. It was done by a Japanese artist hundreds of years ago. And it's one of the most beautiful paintings uh, done. And uh, it's memorable for us because we survived this wave and it's a blue wave. And our martial art wears blue belts. So we're gonna be the blue wave. This is the mountain in the middle, it's still and strong with all this chaos around it. This is the exact replica of our virtual dojang. So this way there's consistency with that when we film in the future. These bags have sensors on them. When you hit these bags, it will show you how hard you're hitting on the bag. I don't know why this one's not doing this right now. Oh, there we go. And shows you how hard you're hitting on the bag, okay? And let's try that again. Finish, start challenge, here we go. Okay, all right. I think it's picking up on the other bag. But anyway, that's what that does. We were, working, we were using that earlier today. We have three of those bags, three speed bags, all new branded equipment for you guys, brand new, everything's brand new, okay? These pictures of me and Grandmaster, I had an artist make them into oil paintings and matching, ceiling painted, waiting area, sofa, third waiting area, all redone. This needs a little more love and paint. And in the other room, we're still gonna be working uh, and improving that as well. That's going to get some TVs and other stuff as well. So um, we did this all for you guys. So hopefully we'll see you soon. Uh, tonight we did our first lesson with Dr. Orbach. If he's a doctor and he's not afraid, you don't be afraid. Okay, we're doing everything we can to make it safe. Listen, there's no guarantees with anything. You could walk out your door and um, catch something. However, masks sanitization, social distancing, disinfecting, temperature checks. We've, we've covered everything and then some. Uh, our entering and leaving procedures are stricter than a doctor's office, okay? My doctor doesn't disinfect every time, I, every time a patient leaves. My barber didn't do it. They don't do it in the, in the stores when you go shopping or the restaurants, okay? But here we do it. Uh, everyone wears a mask and your safety is our number one concern. You're our family and we wouldn't do anything that we, we would think would be harmful to you. So um, this room was just disinfected and um, all the equipment that was touched was disinfected and uh, that's our procedure. So right now we're disinfecting between classes. We were always extremely clean you know, as me with hand sanitizer, I, I, you know, anytime somebody shakes my hand, I'm sanitizing right after because just, I don't like catching cold from people. But, uh, you know, we've taken it up several notches and gone above and beyond what's re required of us. So here's the required procedures. This is us, okay? So um, we hope to see you soon. Uh, we need you here. Uh, this is for, uh, you and uh you know we got to keep our school and our art alive and we need students in order to do that so i hope to see everybody soon this month july and uh you know don't be uh i, I understand these concerns absolutely but we do everything we, we're doing everything we can to keep you safe so please keep that in mind if you have any concerns message me i'll be happy to address them with you and uh, i'll see you in class musa